Hello everybody, this is Ms. Studio Site Review, and today I'm making a quick little video tutorial on how to transfer DSiWare from your Nintendo DSi to your 3DS. Now the first thing you're going to have to do is, uh, on your DSi, you're going to have to go to the shop, go to the free section, and download the Nintendo 3DS transfer tool. And so, uh, let's fire that up. And then meanwhile, on our 3DS, we want to go to the system settings. And we'll go to other settings and um, system transfer. Now it's gonna have to check to make sure you can perform the transfer. I believe it'll have to connect to the internet. I'm not sure exactly what it does. I think for one, it checks that you don't have like homebrew or anything, um, or I don't know, something. But I imagine it also checks to somehow tell that you own both systems. Because I believe that's one of the requirements of transferring. Um, I have a feeling you probably need to link your Club Nintendo accounts to the shop channel. Um, I don't know if that's the case for sure. I imagine that's it. That's what I did anyway, and I recommend doing that just because you get some, you know, uh, some coins every time you make a purchase, and with enough coins, uh, you can get some free stuff, like posters or uh, sometimes even software. Anyway, on the DSi you're gonna hit transfer to Nintendo 3DS and on the 3DS you're going to hit transfer from Nintendo DSi. And meanwhile from here say send, here say receive and sure enough we want to send to the Mr. DS review system and receive from the MDR system uh, you can do a full transfer or a custom transfer. With a full transfer, well, it's a full transfer. With a custom transfer, you can pick. You can send Wi-Fi configuration data. Um, you can send photos and recordings. Recordings being from, like, the sound channel. You know, those, like, 10-second clips you can get. Or, you know, your photos. Or, namely, DSiWare. Um, one thing I should mention. You will lose your save data on your DSiWare, and it will also be deleted from your Nintendo DSi. So, uh, yeah, I, I tested with some software earlier. So for the most part, I'm actually gonna, I guess, keep some of my software on the DSi. Some just temporarily, some possibly forever. Uh, it seems to be getting bad reception or whatever, or connection, you know. Some things can't be transferred, like Flipnote Studio or the browser. That's not a big deal, since apparently they're supposed to make a 3D version of the Flipnote Studio. And, you know, there's already the browser for the 3DS. Um, this is all the, you know, DSi where I own with the question marks. That's stuff I had in my SD card. I'm not positive if I can transfer directly from there yet. But I know you can definitely transfer stuff that's already on your system at the moment. So for example, Legend of Z Legends of Exidia, I'm just using that to, um, for demonstration purposes. Cause, well one, Legends of Exidia kinda deleted my save data on its own. Plus I, it was bad, so I don't particularly care if I lose anything from it. And meanwhile, you get the cool little animation on the 3DS. I I got the Pikmin one last time, so I think it might always be the Pikmin one. It's just a bunch of Pikmin walking, and then eventually they start carrying stuff. It's actually a really cool animation. Uh, right now, since I basically have nothing to talk about, um, well, uh, some actually sometime someone asked about this. I would like to make a video, some articles as my little recap of E3. Um, so I'll get around to that soon, I hope. Uh, so shameless plug for my website if you want to check it out. That's mrdsreview.net. Uh, note that there is no I in it, like there is in my YouTube name. But anyway, so, you know, Pikmin start carrying stuff. And, um, the Wii U was announced at E3, as you're probably aware. 
if you're watching this. I'm just just imagining that you're aware of this. And apparently there's supposed to be a Pikmin for it. I really hope there's a Pikmin for 3DS. And, you know, s small things like this could be a sign sometimes. And anyway, transfer complete. For something big, sometimes the animation will be, like, a little longer. But anyway, I guess there you go. So you can transfer more items if you want. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm gonna check real quick to see if I even can transfer stuff that's not necessarily on my system at the moment. Let's see. Uh, I did not care for Ancient Tribe. I love how I'm transferring all the DSI where I don't care about. Ah, oh, so you can transfer stuff that won't necessarily be on your um, system at the time. Because one thing I should mention is when you have DSiWare um, on your system, you can move it to your SD card and delete it to clear up room, or you can just delete it and... I wonder if that sound showed up. That's, that's outside. Some unfavorable weather, I guess. Anyway, uh, besides the point. If you just delete it, you can re-download it, but I think then you'd have lost, you m might lose your save data that way. But you lose your save data like this anyway. So yeah, the, as you might notice, if you're looking at the animation, there's, it, it slightly varies every time. Like for example, this time they're all white Pikmin. And since it was a smaller DSiWare, it was a little quicker and a little box thing is smaller. So there you go. Uh, let's see, let's not transfer anything else. And let's go back to the home menu. Right, and now, oh yeah, here's all the stuff I downloaded. I'll get to that eventually too. But, stuff shows up on our menu. You know, the stuff we transferred. So for example, I can open this, and there's Legends of Exidia. And let's see, it appears... So it appears... Ancient Tribe. Which, um... I did not have on my system at the time. Got tran... Did not really get transferred. What I imagine this means is I can go to the shop and download it. That would make sense to me. That's, oh, okay. I thought I clicked a little higher. Okay, let's search Ancient. Let's see what we get. Ah, oh, yes, Ancient Tribe. No, never mind, that's an Ancient Tribe video, I think. Ancient Tribe. Ah, uh, it should allow me to download, I imagine. To re-download screen. So, yes, it does in fact let me download it on my own. Oh, there's something on my screen. Um, but there we go. So it's re-downloading. All right. That's nice. And I guess that's about it. I know this video is a little lengthy, but hopefully it answers all your questions. If you have any more, um, you can ask them in the comments. And hopefully I'll answer them, or maybe someone else who knows the answer can can answer them for you. And, um, yeah, I guess that's about it. Like I said, there is some DSiWare that you can't transfer. Um, nothing particularly noteworthy. There are a few things. I think it said I couldn't transfer Art Academy, but that's probably because there's, like, photos linked with that. So I imagine if I transfer the photos... 
then I can transfer it. But anyway, uh, I guess that's about it. So if you like this video, please rate, comment, subscribe, send this to your friends, check out my website, that's mrdsreview.net, and I will see you guys next time.